Hi, I'm Elaine Scott. I'm a case manager at a homeless shelter and I'm also a full-time business administration management student. I was born in Guyana, so this will be my first uh, voting in, in an American U.S. election. If anybody's been really paying attention to, to what's been happening with the campaign, uh, you'll realize that what's popular for Hillary is the hashtag I'm with her pretty much saying that I'm supporting Hillary. The options is like having to choose the lesser of two evils. And from an objective point of view, I think that Hillary seems to be more realistic in what she desires to do or what her goals are. I've followed the campaigns, I've listened to all of the um, debates. And because you have to choose somebody to represent you with Donald and Hillary, for me, it's like a no contest. It's, it's got to be Hillary. Ultimately, it has become a race between the wealthy and the intelligent. And being wealthy as Donald is doesn't necessarily put him in an automatic position to represent a nation in a diplomatic way. Donald has never been in such a position of power politically. And we have seen how he responds. And if I'm thinking of somebody, I want, I want to choose somebody who can represent not just me, but whoever we decide to vote for represents an entire nation. I do not envision Donald Trump being somebody who can sit with world leaders and not become personal and be able to separate his personal views from issues. I think that's one of the scariest things because when he's angry, he goes to Twitter and that's fine if you are not vying for the highest position of power in, in the country. And for him, this might just be a power trip. So I'm absolutely surprised that he has gone this far. And it also causes me to think of and wonder where are we mentally, where are we psychologically, how are we processing this whole entire election process. He was in Iowa addressing the people of Iowa and says, how stupid are the people of Iowa? To have uh, him not leading and have Hillary leading. And of course, Hillary is not a perfect person. Hillary has her issues, uh, the, the entire email fiasco. And you know what? At the end of the day, she has acknowledged that she could have handled it differently. And that's something I have not heard Donald do for any situation. History has proven to us that uh, those who have come before us have really struggled. Women who were not permitted to vote. Many, many years ago, the only persons that were allowed to vote were those who were landowners. The interesting thing about it is that then women were not landowners. But when we look at how far we have come, where women have equal rights now, where it doesn't matter if you own a piece of property or you don't, you have a voice. Voting gives you an opportunity to let your voice be heard. And while I know we struggle with having to choose between these two, like my conviction is choose the lesser of the two evils. Be objective in what has been presented to us by these two candidates. My thing is, after all the struggles that we have gone through as a people, after all that we have gone through in history, for parents who had to die, the civil rights movement, all that those who would have come before us had to endure to get us to this place, I think it would be in error if we choose to acknowledge what they would have done before us and not vote. We have absolutely nothing to lose if we vote. But if we don't, then we're, we're, we're risking maybe another war because that seems to be what Donald Trump is about. Vote. Exercise your right.